Hi Aries, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your How the Other Person Feels About You reading for Aries Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. This reading may or may not resonate with you. Please check your other signs if you need more clarity. Or if you'd like a personal reading, you can go to moonpietarot.com and book your personal reading there. Or if you have an iPhone, you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and request a reading from me there. I will have it for you within 24 hours. For those of you who do have the iPhone but you can't find it, it could be it's just not available in your country yet. Sit tight. It will be out soon. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Moon Pie Tarot for daily guidance. Also, if you do find me on Instant Go, well, to find me, just type in your search Moon Pie Tarot and you will find me there. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Um, I am using the Vampire Tarot, a little gift from my son, um, and you know, he was like, Mom, you gotta use this, gotta use this, use this deck for October. So I'm using it. Here you go. Okay, Aries. So this reading is for how the other person feels about you. This could be anybody, whomever it is that you're thinking about, whomever it is that you're on that's on your mind, that you're coming to my channel to listen for this reading about them. So what we have here in the position of messages you may be receiving from this person okay for some of you if you had a question or you were curious if the person you're dealing with has is outdating a lot of different people i'm i'm feeling like it's a no this person could be telling you that they are focused on work right now clarifying with the seven of cups in the reverse this is you know coming to clarity when it's in the upright it's like this person has way too many choices way too many options on the table or they can't decide and there's temptations but in the reverse i feel like no that's not happening <clears throat> excuse me i feel like this person could be telling you that they're just very focused on their work and their career. They're trying to build. Um, they are targeting a certain thing. It, it could be if they haven't been available to you. It could that could be why. The Five of Pentacles also clarifying this person is. They could be telling you this because. They don't want you to feel left out in the cold. They want you to understand that this is what's happening with them right now, that they are just very focused on their career. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I feel like um, when I look at that card, I just really feel strongly that that's what's happening with them what's going on with them and in the position of what they may be telling you that is something that you will be hearing from them if there's just or even if you're like you're not involved with this person you're just thinking about them or wondering what you know is going on with them that's what's happening they're just very you know focused on work focus on their career they're building you know they're really trying to keep the faith some of them may be having financial issues or feeling like there's not enough money because the five of pentacles can be about poverty um, they could be just really focused on trying to get financially stable now how the person feels about you they have the honeymoon card enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so i feel like they whoever this person is wants to spend some time with you maybe during a holiday if there's any holidays coming up i know we have halloween that's not I don't know if that's really a holiday holiday but or um for those of you who celebrate thanksgiving or whatever holidays you have coming up in other countries of the world i feel like they do want to try to get away with you or even if you're married to this person kind of get into that honeymoon state again where you know they could be telling you i will be 
you know, available soon. I just have all this going on and then we can get, once I get settled or straight, then we can get together. And the Eight of Pentacles, to clarify that, you know, it's very focused on their work, seeing how far they've come and, you know, working diligently to keep that going. Some of them may be doing it for you. They may be telling you, I'm, you know, trying to make things good for us. But the chariot in the reverse, they're just unable to get away right now, even though they want to. They want to be able to go somewhere with you. But there's just um, an in a, there's a lack of movement right now. They they just can't they just can't be with you at this time. Even if this is someone who's at a distance, they just can't make their move in your direction because of commitments, prior commitments or uh, work, career, things like that. Now, what's going on in their mind? They are really just trying to keep the energy light with you to keep flirt, to you know, flirt or stay flirting or just try to keep things nice and easy between the two of you. That's what they, th in their thought process, that's what they're thinking. That's what they would like. And then they have the Knight of Swords. So they want to bring that energy forward so that you understand that they want to stay engaged with you. They don't want you to walk away or give up on them or what have you. The Knight of Swords energy is someone that comes charging through with the truth. And I do believe that, you know, what's going on in their mind is that they are being honest with you and they are being truthful, but they are trying to keep things light. They don't want to stress you out. But they are definitely overwhelmed as well. What's going on with them? They have a lot that's happening. The Ten of Wands is like someone who's, they're fighting for something in their mind. And they're also, I feel like, fighting to stay involved with you in some way. Now, their behavior is they have the, the passion card. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this person is very passionate about you, Aries. They have that energy for you. And the Page of Wands. So they are reaching out or they will be reaching out to you to express, you know, in messages, text, phone calls, you know, being together, spending time together, um, that they have this passionate energy for you and that they want to be able to stay in touch they could express their love, their desire for you, but they're unable to fulfill your wishes right now with the Nine of Cups in the reverse because of all this going on. Your reading's just kind of coming out pretty quick. So in the position of what's external to them, which would be your energy, they want you to keep an open mind. And you're trying. You're trying to keep an open mind. And it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this situation might not, it might be a bit unorthodox for you or, you know, it, it, it might not be flowing as beautifully as you want, but you're trying to keep an open mind. You don't want to end the connection or the, however you are attached to this person. You don't want to end it because the world's in the reverse. You're trying to stay with them. You're trying to be understanding and patient. And you also understand that with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, there is a difficulty getting this off the ground right now because of work and because of their work or because of their commitments and what they have going on. So the outcome energy is the playfulness card. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So that is something more like an advice for both of you to try to just enjoy the light-hearted energy between the two of you. Some of you could be dealing with another fi uh, earth sign, could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, but this is a person who is very, you know, this is a business person, the king of pentacles. This is someone who's very stable and grounded and, you know, they focus on their business and their work. So it's like, it's almost as if the two of you need to have this playful energy 
even though there's a lack of security right now, financial security or stability in this attachment, they want you, I feel like they want you to see that they are truly, this is what they're doing. This is what's going on with them. They're not doing anything else but just working and trying to get themselves together. And they want you to, uh, you know, I, I don't really feel like this is your energy. I just, it could be. you, But I feel like mostly it's, you know, this is the person that you are dealing with. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. It can be any sign, but if it is, it's Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But this person, they're trying to keep this playful energy, even though things are just unstable right now. Or there's a lack of security in the relationship or in the connection. And the Page of Pentacles. So there's a lot of value here to this relationship or to, you know, the two of you. A lot of pentacle stuff going on. So I feel like, you know, when this person reaches out to you, you know, it, it, c keep the communication light and playful and, you know, try to be understanding with each other about you at least be understanding with them about their work commitments and vice versa. So I feel like it's, it, it really doesn't tell the whole story, but I feel like if you have a question about the person that you're dealing with, that, you know, you don't understand what's happening with them, this is what I really feel is going on with them right now. I don't feel like there's, you know, any betrayal or anything like that or, you know, infidelity or, uh, you know, or that they're, if they're not talking to you, I don't feel like there's, it's because they are talking to it. They're emotionally attached to other people. I really just feel like they are really focused on work. And that's what's happening this during this time. Okay, Aries, so that's your reading. Again, if you wish for a personal reading, just visit me at moonpietarot.com or you can go to uh, download the Instant Go app and look for me, Moon Pie Tarot, on there, and I can get you a reading within 24 hours. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.